Hi Havens! Good morning. Uh, today's video, I still can't really do anything with my eye. I don't know how swollen you can see it is in this video, but like, if you look real close on this inner corner, sorry, I've got like some sleepies still, even though I've been up for a couple hours now, but you can definitely see that this eye is a little like red and swollen right here in the center versus this eye because my sty is right on the inside of my lid, which is super fun, let me tell you. So we are going to be doing my little trial or error. Um, it's still a trial, but I couldn't think of a better name for these videos when I'm testing a product. This is by CoverGirl, and one of my favorite foundations ever is by them, but this is the CoverGirl True Blend hydrating foundation. It says it is a smoothing natural finish. And I have this in the shade L2, which is classic ivory. But looking at it compared to ones that I know work for me, it, it looks like the shade might be a little off. Um, so I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is going to work and I've never used it obviously so it still had the sticker on that's why I was having trouble getting it open so we've got a nice fresh clean pump and I'm going to try this one with just my brush because that's my preferred foundation application method um so we're gonna give it a go and I do have like moisturizer on my face that I put on when I woke up, but I don't have like any primer on because I want to see how the fan, how the foundation, how the foundation applies on its own. My glasses are so dirty. I'm just going to take them off. So without further ado, it does have one of the like twisty lids so you can lock it shut. So we've got a full pump. On the back of my hand, it doesn't look like too bad of a match. So hopefully it's just like in the bottle next to other ones it doesn't look that great. So I'll give you a close up before. I definitely have some like spots and breakouts. I'm pretty sure I'm getting sick. So, you know, we're dealing with that. But mixing it around. I'm using my pointer instead of my middle finger, which feels really weird. Not sure why I did that. So yeah, on my face, it definitely looks like it could run a little bit warm. So let's see what it looks like. And it definitely has that uh, classic CoverGirl scent, which I don't mind because it's like a very nostalgic scent but I'm also not the biggest fan of. Like it has a very makeup-y smell, but it also smells like there's a little bit of sunscreen in it, which is kind of nice because A, I definitely need sunscreen and I'm really bad about forgetting to put it on if I'm like just running to the store without makeup on. So having makeup that has sunscreen is really nice for me. I don't think it looks bad at all, like color or finish wise. So let's take the correct finger because it felt really wrong to do that with my pointer finger, but I already had it on there so I couldn't switch. I don't know. This is just the way that I do it. So I'm used to doing it like this and it feels wrong to change it up. See, like, especially over here. It definitely has like an orange tint to it, but I feel like as I blend it out, it's not as stark a difference. And I hope that's not just like my mind playing tricks on me. It definitely does look like it's not quite the right undertone but it's not so glaringly obvious that it's 
something I wouldn't be able to wear. So I just took a little bit of what's left on my, oh, there's a hair. Okay. It was poking me in the eye, which right now is really not a good thing. I took a little bit more of what was left on my hand and I'm just putting that over my cheeks. Buffing that out. And then going down around my chin and my jaw. Yeah, it's not my favorite color match. And it looks like it is starting to oxidize a little bit. So, but I like the finish, even though, hair, uh, even though it's supposed to be like a hydrating finish, I was a little worried because I do have more oily skin. That being said, it sits over the dry patch on my forehead really nicely. So close up with foundation. So, ooh, almost missed my chair there. Mm, so overall, like, I'm definitely not mad at it. But I do feel like if it oxidizes any more than this, it's going to look really funny. Oh, okay. I also, which is very strange, I don't think I need to set it immediately. Now, if I was going to wear it for, like, all day... I would probably set it anyway so that just come a few hours of where it wasn't starting to that's what it's left on the back of my hand like color wise um so that come the end of the day it wouldn't start to get quite as oily but like just to the touch it doesn't leave a wet finish which is really nice mm. if it doesn't oxidize anymore i could make it work Especially if I'm like wearing a hoodie or something that comes up a little bit higher, then it wouldn't be as like noticeable. Um, <clears throat> the bit of oxid oxidation that it has. So I'm going to use the NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick in Lavender Lust as my highlighter because I don't use this one a lot. So I'm just. Warming it up with my finger, and we're going to pop that down my cheekbones. There's someone's dog out in the road, sorry. <laughs> Pretty sure it's the neighbor across the street. Because it keeps like going from their yard, like back into the road. So I hope it's theirs but I know they've got a couple dogs. One is like a pit bull mix. I know that for a fact because that's the only one that I've like had an interaction with and I've seen the others like out in the yard with it, but I couldn't tell you what kind of dog they are. Okay. Putting this on my upper lip for some reason just makes my upper lip look kind of swollen. Is that just me? Like right up there? Like it gave it brightness in the wrong way. I don't know what that's about. And then I'm just going to take my Il Maquillage lipstick because this is like a great everyday kind of soft pink, soft nudie pink. Yeah, that's gonna be it. And then I'm gonna spray my face to set it down. Let's use the Becca Skin Love Glow Shield Prime and Set Mist. <sighs> Such a nice mister on that, and I think it smells so good. So I'm just gonna take a like dry sponge. This is the Miracle Sponge. I think I threw away the packaging, but whatever from Real Techniques. 
I'm just going to make sure my forehead doesn't stay wet because that's where a lot of that spray went. I have an itch right here. Uh, kind of like gently stab it so it'll go away. Okay. And that's the uh, finished look. I'll show you close up again. Let me know if you think this foundation is worse keeping and trying out in different ways or if you've tried this foundation, if you enjoy it. Um, I'm not mad at it. I think I could definitely work it into my rotation. Again, as long as it doesn't get any deeper than this, because I am starting to be able to kind of see the, the chin strap line, if you know what I mean. And I don't like having to take foundation down onto my neck. I want to be able to just like bring it down to here and then be done with it and not bring it all the way down to my chest so uh yeah that's it let me know your thoughts down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe to see more of my content and i will see you guys next time bye